He's a sinister reflection of old Shellhead's metallic might, a dark reminder of the dangers of power in the wrong hands. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the Ironmonger. Ironic, Tony! Trying to rid the world of weapons! You gave it his best one ever! As with most comic book characters, they're often reimaginings in different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to follow the storylines which unfolded in 1982's Iron Man Volume 1 number 163 and 1985's Iron Man Volume 1 numbers 198 and 200, which was later expanded upon in 2008's The Order Volume 1 number 8 and Invincible Iron Man Volume 1 number 1. Nizikyo, come here. Sit down, you and I are gonna have a talk right now. Obadiah Stane suffered greatly during his formative years as a child, losing his mother when he was very young and living with a drunken, gambling addicted father on a losing streak. One day, Stane's father Zebediah felt like he was on a roll after a small string of gambling successes and decided to take the ultimate risk with a game of Russian roulette. He lost, and the young Obadiah was forced to witness his father's death by gunshot first hand, leading not only to the loss of his hair, but a gained sense of determination at any cost for power over those he saw as beneath him. Grid up the armor and the rest of it. All right, let's finish up here. This determination eventually led to financial success as the adult Obadiah founded his own company, Stain International, selling international arms while simultaneously working together with Howard Stark, father of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. Tony, we're a team. You understand? There's nothing we can't do if we stick together, like your father and I. Stain would eventually set his sights on acquiring the younger Stark's stake in his father's business, however, utilizing everything at his disposal in order to attack Iron Man where it hurts, with his family and friends. Tony, you can't oh. afford to be this naive. You know when I was naive before, when they said, here's the line, we don't cross it, this is how we do business. If we're double dealing under the table, are we? Not only does Stane send his associates the Chessmen to attack Stark's friend James Rhodes, aka War Machine, but the devious businessman also sends the Chessmen's queen Idris Moomji as a spy, infiltrating Stark's life by becoming his lover while returning information back to Stane. One particularly important piece of information that comes Stane's way is access to the original Iron Man armor schematics, which Stane's scientists used to develop a rival suit of their own, dubbed the Ironmonger armor. Where do you think you're going? Stain and Stark's battles eventually come to a head when Stain himself takes on the Ironmonger armor, going head to head against Stark in his newly completed Silver Centurion Iron Man suit. Although Stain proved to be a formidable threat, the Ironmonger suit was outmatched by Stark's powerful new Centurion armor. Iron Man emerged victorious after destroying Stain's access to the Ironmonger's external computing system. Stain, humiliated at his defeat, decided to commit suicide by blasting himself with the Ironmonger's repulsor beam, rather than be arrested and exposed. The legacy of Obadiah Stain would live on in the work of his son Ezekiel, who was introduced in yet another incarnation of the Ironmonger in the eighth issue of The Order in 2008. Ezekiel Stain. Stain. Wait. Obadiah Stain, son? The younger Stain followed in his father's footsteps as an arms dealer, manufacturing biomechanical weaponry for terrorists and supervillains. He also inherited his father's hatred for Iron Man, whom he blames for his father's death. Their god satellite cannot and will not save them. Nor can their false iron idols save them from their future. Their history is already written. I just have to overcome their defenses. Contrary to the original Ironmonger's bulky, large-scale armor, Ezekiel Stane's impressive arsenal derives from his genius-level intellect and biological know-how. His newer technology allows Stane to decrease the caloric consumption in his body, enabling the emission of this excess energy via repulsor bolts from his fingers, similar to the repulsor bolts from his father's original Ironmonger armor. This essentially gives the younger Stain a physical makeup similar to a cyborg, allowing all the freedom of human mobility alongside some very dangerous abilities. No one escapes. <laughs> no! Indeed, dangerous is a good word to describe the Stain family, the Ironmonger, and their relationship with the Starks, as these devious geniuses have used nearly everything in their power to attack Tony Stark and those closest to him with a savage and relentless determination. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! Are you a fan of the Ironmonger and the Stain family legacy? For more deadly top tens and bioengineered comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You people are determined to get in my way, aren't you?